Writing a business plan can be very daunting. And if I'm honest about it, not everybody needs to write a business plan. Business plans typically are used when you need to convince other people to commit their resources to a business idea that you have. What you do need to develop, however, is a business model. And that business model typically does have to be written down. Now, is that business model a business plan? I don't know. It's, it's a very short form of business plan. And of course, being short and succinct, it can be changed very easily because the one thing for certain is that when you go into the marketplace, things will be different. Very few business plans survive first contact with customers. And therefore, if you develop a business model and write it down, you can change it very easily. And you can try these what-if scenarios. What if I change various elements of, say, my marketing mix in certain ways? What will be the effect of that on my operations plan, on the resources I have, and how does that come together? So I think you've got to develop some form of written document. Whether it's a business model or a formal business plan, I think that depends on the use to which it will be put. Now, a business plan can be an enormous document, an enormous document covering dozens of pages and having lots of detailed financial projections in it. But typically, those are only produced if you're looking for money. So you might have to produce one for a bank. You might have to produce one for um, a business angel, indeed, any equity provider. So business plans can be daunting. They are daunting. And I think they've got to be daunting because if you're looking for somebody to commit resources to you on a personal basis, they've got to be convinced that you have dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's, and looked under every stone to identify the risks the business faces and the critical success factors that you've got to get right to make that business a success. I think the first thing you've got to do if you're developing a business plan is to get other people's opinion of what you're writing down. The last thing you want to do is to go in with a document that only you have seen to somebody who you're asking money from and they say, well, you've got these things wrong or you're missing certain things. Get as many opinions about the business plan that you've written before you use it for real as you possibly can and get it from all sorts of different perspectives because all opinion is good opinion. They'll spot things you've missed, they'll spot things you've got wrong, and it will be an improved business plan once you deliver it to the person who really counts. I think the first year of running a business can be quite traumatic. First thing to say is it's really hard work, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week sort of commitment. So your personal life does tend to go on the back burner. But the second thing to say is that the unpredictable does tend to happen. And these unpredictable things can really throw you. So actually doing some sort of risk management, trying to predict the unpredictable, I know that's a tautology, but you try to predict as much as you can. And then that helps you deal with those predictable things. When the unpredictable comes, and it will do, then you've got more time to deal with it. And nevertheless, that will be very stressful. And I think, you know, once you realize that that's likely to happen, once you realize that your stress levels will increase when it happens, then it becomes more acceptable. You learn to deal with it. But the light at the end of the tunnel is that things will get better after the first year. I mean, I've run my own business. The first year was difficult, very difficult. And the second, third, fourth, it got easier as we went on partly because we understood the marketplace better, partly because we brought in more people who we could delegate to, and therefore, if you like, spread the burden. But the first year, you've got to do everything yourself, it seemed to me, and then everything was brand new and very stressful and hard work, hard work, no holidays. So be prepared for a lot of hard work, be prepared for the unpredictable. That's my advice in the first year.